Hello everyone and welcome to Stone Harvey Bonto. Welcome back and today we are continuing with the, the Frost Fiends quest. We're also doing the Candle Dark quest and uh, we just got some message from Tom T bringing gifts to us from Amazon. Oh, nice. Uh, I also just recommend look around to see if we have some leftover enemies that might be lingering in some odd places and if that is the reason we are kind of like stuck with a few things uh, but I'm very unsure it's honestly really hard to like find where it would be like with a good vision or something like that so I guess we'll see I'm not sure where they would be hiding inside the building under buildings behind hills whatever I don't know but we can have a look with uh, Tomty at least so let's start with uh, this one how far do we have we need uh, one more present, okay. I think that should also be probably queued up, so before we go to the other one, let's make sure it is queued up. Okay. And that was medium, right? Medium. Or the one that's just normal name, I suppose. Oh, has this been... Let's see. It might be that this has been disabled however I did see on uh, Steam Workshop that uh, there is a mod for it I'm not sure what happens if I download that one I have no clue really I don't know I don't I don't dare to do it <laughs> and I had so much trouble just launching the game today to just refuse it to start honestly um, let's see Tom to brings gift request from clan Amberstone we extend the path friendship, Frostling. Ever since our great Warren has befriended the kind surface dwellers, we've been introduced to several delicacies and wonders. We can stop thinking about how much we'd love to have four glazed venues this year. Is that how we are supposed to ask for it? We hope so. Many hopes you and happy Frost Feast. We have two days to deliver. They will give us one Amberstone small Frost Feast. Glazed venues. I think we can do that, right? Food is not going super well at this point, but I think it's fine. So glazed veggies, I should be cook. Ah, this could be tricky. We need vinegar for that. And vinegar is a little bit tricky to do. And I think Dan said also that some stuff has been moved over to the brewer, some potions. Yeah, these ones, the equipment potions. Uh, these are the potions that your soldiers, for example, will bring into battle so they can use a healing potion, they can use an anti-poison po potion, and the uh, better ones, and so on. We're looking to do these ones eventually. That would be cool. Strong cleansing, but this one, half healing. The medical vial of potion will be cared by the combatant and use it when they are hurt, restoring a lot of health. A halfling can only care one potion. Um, but yeah, I will see. After this episode, I'll, I'm gonna have a check with Danny and uh, see what Ace mod if it's if I'm stuck at the moment or if I can get the Frost Feast mod without hopefully restarting this quest, right? I hope not. Um, but vinegar, okay. Let's see here. That's with the brewer, right? So we've got the brewer. And uh, we have a few different options for this. So we can have unfermented wine vinegar. We can also do unfermented juice vinegar, which is probably more likely, right? We prepare an appropriate fruit juice to be fermented with a wine cask and it can be turned into use of vinegar. So it seems we have a few of them available already. So it might just be that we haven't had time yet. So let's look inside here. What is happening? So these are being worked through the mead. And uh, this one, I'm not sure what it's set up to be. We have queued up something, but I'm thinking that we can do unfermented. What's in this one I had to do it then? Uh, let's see. Because we want to do the use. Wine cask. So it should be one of these, right? And uh, so we go in here. Unfermented juice vinegar, that one. And let's see if it's queued up. I think it is. Let's see. Yeah, now it's queued up. Very nice. 
Uh, these ones uh, doesn't look like they're queued up. Maybe. I can at least change them a little bit. Like so, and hopefully that will provide us a little bit more uh, of vinegar, hopefully. How does it actually look under this building? Because we were working on this one quite some time ago, but I don't think we finished it. So let's see how down here. Yay, Dev. Leviacook. Awesome. So we're just gonna load it. Okay, yeah, we have a little bit more digging to be done under here, actually. Vampire arrives. Okay, good. So I think we want to keep four in height down here. Uh, I'm also, though, thinking of... It seems a little bit tricky to mine here, right? There's some something blocking us. So if we go one down one more step... So maybe the door will be here, right? And it go inside of here. So I'm thinking that... Um, a little bit deeper in. Let's go like this. So that was like... Five. Five, there we go. I'm gonna make it wider. So now we have, how wide is this? 13 by 11. Uh, so I think that's a pretty good start actually. We can dig that out and uh, let's see here. If we go to the building design, this is a bit troublesome. However, potentially, if we go to place two, uh, with the crafting place, we should be able to like search for door here and uh, we can get a suitable door. I think one with perhaps a lock on it. So I'm thinking this one, clay door with lock. And maybe, um, hmm, I kind of want to go with that one. So the way this works, if, if you don't have this available, they will go and craft those and then they will place these. So sometimes it's really, really useful to do it this way. Okay, a vampire arrives, okay. Ah, mortals and little hovels. Oh, pardon me, she approaches with a bow. I assure you, I have long distanced myself from the, my more rudimentary drinking habits from my brethren. You are safe for now? She smiles, looking towards the sulfite tree. Thank you, kindly for the passage, but I must ask one last favor. Shall I be treated or should you be tricked? Give us some treats. Just advise. I suppose it will do. She seems grateful, winking after receiving the offering. She returns a small bag to the people around, a little something for your trouble. Farewell and until the next conjunction, she slides towards the soul fire tree into the mist. We got some nightshade flower and candle dark crafting recipe. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, we haven't seen any enemies in a very long time. And it might be like Dan said that something is stuck somewhere, but where somewhere is, it's hard to know. Perhaps this one, because these are the actual name Candelar Skeleton. Let's send some troops over here. Hopefully that's what is happening. This is just beautiful little Tomty. Got a lovely little Tomty. Such a cute little goblin, right? But yeah, I hope that is uh, this is the issue and we're fixing it. So I'm just sending all of our troops out. Just be safe. We can probably probably throw in... Okay, we don't have it. So we can throw in some potions, we can activate for some speed. Wait, okay, yeah, spooky invaders, yeah. So we need to take these ones out. Ah, do we have a storm? Sand drift, okay, I don't think that's too dangerous, right? Oh, a skeleton arrives as well. I'm just gonna see if we have the gifts for them. Yes, awesome. More things, awesome. So if we find more of these than like damaged hearts, that's gonna help us to find them, right? We do have quite a bit of health though. And we do have oh that's just Bambi. I don't think that's a candle dark uh, Bambi, right? <laughs> but it could be there could be other ones scattered around. Who knows? Who knows? But at this point, I don't really see any, so hopefully that was the missing ones. Let's hope for it, because it would be awesome to eventually actually finish the candle arc, right? Because we can't craft these gifts, it's gonna be... ...real troublesome probably to finish this quest, so I will check with Danny after, like I said. And here we are, growing some cactuses, so it should hopefully help a little bit with the... 
the wood supply in our town, right? So let's see here. This and this building was done. Let's see. Did we want to decorate with more things? Here at the candlelight music again. Is something happening? Maybe. No. Didn't find anyone being chased either. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I was thinking of like if there's some more we can build. Yeah, we can do this one. We have this uh, staircase to do, right? It's kind of cool when you do this. I think we save this, right? Yeah. It's kind of fun when you make these ones. Because you can find so many interesting ways to do them. Like maybe we did it and put it on top of that one. And if you hold down, if you can shift right, you can drag it. It gives that extra tools to move blocks around. We could have had it like sunken down like this. And do whatever. It kind of looks like an, uh, <laughs> some thieves or something, right? That would bring them here. That would kind of make it look like a snake almost, I think. Right? Giving them interesting eyes like a crocodile. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's useful sometimes to like take and reuse. This one, let's see for this one. I think this one should be getting done very soon. We also need some windows. Okay, clay latest windows. Let's see for the potter. I might just go and uh, put it at the very top there. Playlet's window should be this one. Yes. We might need to do a few one of them later on, so let's put them there. We have three potters, so it feels like we should, you know, hopefully be able to do well. But I think as the game's like kind of like far into, we have a big town, we got a lot of things going on. I don't think the workers are as efficient as they could have been, right? So that's also that. Okay. Um, I was thinking if we should like do a little building just before that sound came. So we were working long, long ago in the harbor. So I was thinking like, should we do some more? We could have a building here even. Could be that. I don't remember. I think we had some ideas. Maybe it was even supposed to be like a bridge over there somehow. I have a faint memory of that in the thing. But we could like... We could have a bridge that goes between here. To that side. Why do we have that? Why not? <laughs> and it can be a very, very aggressive bridge that goes up. Now we hear battle music. Now something's going on. Let's see. But the lighting and fire, so who knows what happens. It is a bit annoying, I have to say. Uh, let's see here. So if we make this go up here. Like so. And I think as we go up here, right, we could uh, cut away some. So select the middle. Push that away. Select this. Push that away. Select like this. So how I'm doing this, I'm just dragging across. I think I had a question regarding a previous video as well. And I'd, I think it was related to like, how can you remove a section of something? without removing the entire thing. So you have the holes option that removes only what you select, right? You can go back here. Uh, you have the rubber, removes everything. You can see everything is like becoming red. It's getting re removed, right? Uh, but for example, in the case of you doing this and go to rubber, it will only remove this because you have cut away the connection between this. Which allows you to use a rubber to remove that. And if you have like a building, let's say, I can actually show you if you want to know that. Um, let's see some. 
kind of basic building. Um, I don't know. Some. Hopefully, I have all the mods for it. Okay, so here we have a building that I made before. So, you can see at the moment we're removing these parts, right? And this is actually an entire roof because they are made by different pieces. These are actually normal blocks and this is a wall. So they are separated by different components, sort of. Um, but let's say we only wanted to maybe remove the bottom. You might have just gone in here. And I do when I use the hole to remove everything. We could have just cut off this thing. And you see now how this they are split up. Because there are no seamless like connection between those two. I can easily remove that and I can remove that part, that part. In this case of this one, if I wanted to, I could have went in here. And then I could have gone instead of like going through and deleting the typing. I can go like that, or I can keep the top, remove the bottom, and then I can continue from this one again and do whatever I want to do with it. So there's there's a lot. I have a building guide, a little short tutorial I made pretty recently, uh, but I'm going to be going more into more tips in that one eventually. Okay, food is not going very good. Skeleton can give me some treats. Yes, satisfied. Awesome. Uh, let's see the recipes. We actually got a few before we continue. Inventory recipes. Weaver. Get okay, it go. Potter cook. Weaver potter cook. Weaver. Ooh, I think this one, right? That's a cool one. I like it. I need to make one of those. Oh, look at the amount of food we can do now with candle arc. Awesome. Um, I kind of want to do glazed. We're doing glazed veggies. I was thinking if we should do more candies. You aren't aware of a lot. Like doing twelve meager meals, but you know, good food, good some good candy to give to people, right? Okay, it looks like we have all of these. Uh, items are fully catched for this quest, which means no one should take them, hopefully. Don't take, don't take them. Do not. <laughs> uh, okay, so if we have this bridge here. And um, I'm thinking of doing some more support. I just think it's going to look better if we do. Um, hmm. Should we grab the green color over there? We can experiment a bit. Like, this could just be a nice little place where, you, you know, you walk here to the tavern, maybe be into the tavern, maybe after being there, having a bit of food, a bit of drinks, and you go up here, stand, watch over the town or the river, most likely, right? And just have a good time, pretty much. Relax and have a cozy time, I suppose. So, I think it's something like that. Very basic. We can have some roofs over and stuff like that as well. In this case, I don't really think I want to have that. And let's remove... Let's remove that one. Maybe. Uh, for this side, however, because this is actually built, uh, we can uh, destroy and rebuild it, but uh, no thank you. So we'll probably leave it like that, or we will just go back to this one and keep it like that. Then it's going to be the same both sides, which is probably going to be better, right? Um, so then let's go ahead and uh, take some colors. I'm just gonna throw in a little bit random here, break up the pattern a bit. There we go, and I think it's probably a wise idea to break this pattern up a tiny bit at least as well. I'm gonna guess like reuse colors, get that one. Very nice. And I think we should have some candles here, maybe. Or some some kind of lights, at least. So let's look into the decorations. 
Ooh, we can use the Frost Freeze Cannon. Ooh, that would be nice. I actually want to do that. Let's see. Frost. Yeah, let's make make this decorated with Frost Freeze stuff. So let's go first. These candles here. Here we go. And uh, then I want to try... I kind of want to try to have these... I want to have them sitting... I kind of want them to sit on those and there. It doesn't matter if it goes down in the water. But at the same time, it, I think it could look kind of cool if you had them kind of like hanging like this, right? So I'm actually going to give this a go, I think. See how that feels. I'm kind of excited to see how that's going to be. And we can also have these, right? Or these. Or some of these as well. I mean, in real life, winter's over, right? Not where I live, though. It's a lot of snow. It's been snow since, like, I don't know, October last year. It's still, and that snow has never gone away. It's like probably a meter of snow outside or something like that. Um, but I'm thinking something like this. Let's give that a try. Hopefully uh, no errors. Oh, there we go. That's gonna be nice. But we will definitely look into some more house building soon. <coughs> but overall, uh, the town is running a bit slow, so I've been even considering if we would do a little bit of time skips here and there, just so we can progress a bit further with the town. Just so we know that things are kind of moving forwards, because at the moment it's kind of going slow, because of a lot of uh, things just takes time in the game at the moment. Uh, let's have a look at the cooks again. They look like they're all busy. These one papaya smoothie, I don't think we can even do those. We're gonna just cancel those out. There's a few more scenes. And let's see if there's anything else. Oh, spooky invaders! They are back! Finally, they have returned! Maybe that's what will be... I really hope we'll be able to finish this one soon. Let's get everyone ready. And we're gonna be fighting over here, I think. And now it's important we take down the witch first because she's kinda like protecting them. So let's hope they're gonna come over here. We do have a few turrets, we have do have some protection. Two of them haven't been upgraded for some reason, like I don't know how long they'll be queuing up for several hours of real time probably, but Somehow they decide that it's not an important thing. It's, it's, it is a bit odd. Um, I kind of wish they would just go and do it directly, really. Because it's like something you told them, like, go do this thing, right? Rather than their daily tasks, pretty much. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can bait them over. They don't seem to want to move. Okay, there we go. So let's fall back again. We want to fight them where we have the advantage, right? We have to have the high ground, right? Right? Okay, it should be good. You do want to keep being closer, so let's fall back a little bit again. But we have to make sure we destroy the witch. Okay, this one, okay. Let's send everyone. Uh, let's look for potions. Uh, refreshing. That shouldn't help too much, really. We can do this one. Let's look at the inventory, because we could have more. So we're going to search for tonics. Oh yes, so we have uh, actually any the tonic. Okay, that should be good. Okay, let's see what happens. So first this one is going down, hopefully. Wow, they are really hurting us. Okay, she's down. Now they're not as protected anymore. Kind of dark skeleton. Should we go for the big guy? Do we have to do so? I feel like we, there should be some vampire in the middle of this, right? This is a healer, but I think we have to... Can we take them down really quickly? I don't know. Let's see.
Okay, yeah, it's going down. Uh, but uh, it's hard to see if there's vampires. Oh, here's here's an unreal vampire. Okay, let's take him down. Oh no no no! Been bitten three times. Get away. Is this another one? Oh no, there's another one. And we're too far away from this one, it seems. I do not want to get another frog. Okay, let's take him down. Beat him four times. Okay, uh, Dolly, I think you kind of have to move away for a bit. Honestly. Oh, there we go. Feel a little bit more safe. This guy is pretty tough. 2,500 health. I do still have a healer, so let's go deal with him. There shouldn't be any vampires to my know. Is that a vampire? There is another one. He has to go down. Uh, but he has a green one, so shouldn't be able to bite us often, I guess. Okay, there we go. Footman level 5, awesome. Cleave, now, yeah, you do want to get the cleave. Footmans are really good, actually. Getting the cleave in while the archers can do some uh, more targeted things. Let's get this one down. I think he's probably healing them way too much. Okay, that's yes, the final one. Dodge level 5 knight as well. Awesome. There we go, we beat them. Good job by you, Paul. Uh, let's make sure... I think we should disable the job pretty soon for them. That means they can help around town with other things, other tasks that need to be made. Uh, like for example, activating this, which hopefully they can do. I I wonder if it could be that they are like too close to each other and therefore they can't reach it. I don't really think that is, is the issue, but you know, just in case, I'm gonna try to move one. This one has been upgraded. Um, like, I can't really see that, that that would be an issue, but let's just try and move them. Anyway. And we have more that we need to upgrade here, so we want to make an, a green we actually have, but we can have another green. Um, slowing down walks within. Kind of want to have some damage. Weaken them. And one white. Um, yeah, let's go like that. But yeah, that makes me happy that it seems that we can actually do the quest. <laughs> Which is what we want to do, right? So let's take all the soldiers now and uh, disable the job. Hopefully, hopefully get this you know, upgraded and put in place and stuff, right? medical attention. A lot of them need that. Ten more hours until uh, they are back. But yeah, I think we'll leave it there for today, everyone. So uh, thank you for watching, and I will uh, I will take a look on the first feast mod on Steam Workshop because I saw it today available, and uh, see if that will help me being able to craft these things again until we. Uh, at least finish the quest. So everyone, thanks for watching. Hope you had a beautiful day and uh, hope you can have a rest, great every week and uh, thanks for watching and see you guys soon. Have a great one.